Man. I, I mean, you, you brought it up earlier, but... For an Italian not to like cheese, that's like the... Well, the no, 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 no. No, no, no. I like cheese. I didn't like melted cheese. Huh. Melted cheese. I may gotcha. not have... I may have neglected to say that. That's the no, I, I'm pretty sure you said melted. I, I just... Neglected to... I just wanted to specify. Because I freaking love Parmesan cheese. <laughs> I put Parmesan cheese on everything. And I put a lot of it. You, you were, you've been at my house, right? When oh. I had pasta. Oh man. Timon, vouch for the pipster on how much Parmesan cheese I put on crap. <laughs> well, he puts a lot on, but that's a that's an understatement. Um, Basically, what I would do is anything that would normally have melted. Who shot? Who is the retard? <laughs> oh, that was me! It was me! <laughs> I wasn't even, dude. These guys, oh. <laughs> I wasn't mad. I, I only, I only laugh because I've done that same thing, and you know it. But it's just, yeah. it's so funny to hear the dude that's better at video games shoot when I actually figured it out. <laughs> oh, damn it! It's okay, Pippin. All right. Our five subscribers will. Well, it, Only it give you just, shit. As I think about it, it's not necessarily that I just love Parmesan, which I do. It's really that I'm kind of excessive with my condiments in general. Like, I put a bunch of ketchup on stuff. Whenever I put mustard on sandwiches, I put a whole lot on. Hmm. Basically, I just put a lot of condiments on stuff. Basically, you don't like the meal. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't say so. i just say the condiments enhance the meal. Indeed. Um, no, okay, so here's the story of Pip and I, uh, Pip and my childhood. So, like, one of the few times, not few, but one of the first times that I went over to Pippin's house, we, uh, we were pretty young, we were in junior high or whatever, and, uh, the game Grand Theft Auto Vice City had just come out. Oh, great game. And, uh, we played the shit out of that game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would... Yeah. I would come over, Pip would have two TVs set up for us, and we just, all night, we just played. But, no, it's, diverging away from that, we, um, the, the meal, not the meal, but like the snack that Pippin would make for us would be air popcorn. Like the stuff, like yeah, the homemade stuff, the, the air pop popcorn, and, um, he wouldn't put any uh, sauce on there, or not sauce, well, but like spices or mind, like seasoning. You mind if I expand on this a little bit? Oh no, so, go ahead. For go those ahead. of us who don't know, most people when they think popcorn, they think of like a bag you put in the microwave. Yeah. Air pop popcorn is where you buy an actual. I still do this to this day, by the way. Oh, where it's you good buy stuff. An actual popping machine mm -hmm. that heats true kernels, and they pop. And if you've never had Air Pop popcorn, there's it's no really good. natural butter or salt on them. It's a much different taste. It, like, they, it, it's kind of... Regular popcorn doesn't really taste like anything. No. It's just kind of... It's just air. It, it's like bread. It, it just, it's just... It's bland, but kind of good at the same time, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But... So what Timon is saying is like he would expect someone who makes that to then put butter or salt or something on top of it. No, 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 no. Me coming from a family that actually did do that, like they've made their own air pop popcorn, mm -hmm. but they would also add like the spray on butter and um, you know, like salt and whatever you want to add on to it. Like, they would do that, like, afterwards. I was never involved in the actual making of popcorn. You know, I, I was pretty young. So, like, I went over to Pippin's house, and he's like, hey, you want some popcorn? And I was like, yeah, well, clearly. I, I like me some popcorn. And, <laughs> he doesn't like popcorn, come on. Well, well I, I'm just saying, I, I like popcorn. And, um, so he was like, okay, here, have some of this. And I... I took a handful and put it in my mouth and there was nothing on there. You know, I was like, oh, hey, this this tastes like air. <laughs> you know, or like, yeah, like like, like, like Pippin said, it tastes like pop, it, it, oh, not popcorn. 
dear lord. It tastes like, it tastes um, like, like bread. Like, you know, it was like, oh yeah, like I, I got something in my mouth that's not flavorful, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, that's not bad. You know, whatever. And because I'm a nice dude, I wasn't complaining. I was a guest in the house. And, yeah, and then... Guest. I appreciate that, by the way. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. And then Pippa's like, hey, you know what's really good with this? <laughs> it's Parmesan cheese. No, I knew you were no. going there with this. Yes, no, I knew Pippin was Italian. Like, it, it's obvious if you ever just see him or talk to him or whatever. He's like, yeah, he's, he's an Italian dude, or half Italian or whatever. And so, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I will give this Parmesan cheese a try. I've had Parmesan cheese on, like, spaghetti and pasta and whatever. And it was good. I, I'm not against it. When I tried it with that popcorn, he was like, okay, lick the popcorn and put it in the Parmesan cheese. And I did that. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I have missed my life. My life means nothing up until this point. <laughs> I appreciate you saying this. I did not I did not realize this. Oh, I mean, I'm not saying that, like, the other popcorn was bad that I ever had, you know. I was like, yeah, that, that, that's right. popcorn, you know, but... I, I just remember like, think I I just remember it is let's just put it this way it was very good memories of playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City and eating popcorn with Parmesan cheese that I had to like work to to put on <laughs> my popcorn. <laughs> right. Is it kind of like um, the first time you had a specialty pizza like a buffalo chicken pizza or a taco pizza where you're like. Huh. Oh, I don't know. It's not really a pizza, and then you have it. You're like, "How? This is so good!" <laughs> yeah, I, I can understand it coming from like, the non-work aspect of it. You know, like you're like, when I was at your place. And no offense, Pippin. This is no offense to you, but it was like, yeah, you have to like, put it on your tongue and then put it in there and like get the parmesan. But like when I had my first um, buffalo chicken pizza, it was like, oh, so. This is how heaven tastes. <laughs> like, I don't have to do anything. This is this right. is just what they do. <laughs> but not saying that not saying the Parmesan popcorn was bad I have, I, at I, all. I don't feel... I am not offended that you are pointing out that I had to make my own. That is okay. <laughs> no, no, yeah, exactly. It is, and trust me, I was the same exact way with, you, with my... And plus... You know, you can look... As adults, we can look back at it and appreciate it. You know, it's a 14, 15 year old... You don't exactly make culinary cuisines. The oh, dude. You can even heat up a Pop-Tart is impressive. Yeah, oh, well, okay, talking about Pop-Tart, I was honestly going to go there before you even said Pop-Tart. I just, here's what I remember about growing up. Trust me, Pippin and I have been friends, I mean, kindergarten, but, like, best friends since, like, junior high. I mean, we went through a period where, you know, we just, the classes just didn't line up for some weird reason. It just, like, we, we, were, we never... Yeah. Yeah, we were still friends, we just didn't have any of the same elementary, we were in the same school, we just didn't have any teachers, or the same yeah. classes, so. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, like, like it, it's hard to, it's hard to, you know, be yeah. best friends Especially with somebody when, like, when they don't have the same classes. Yeah. So, um, in junior high, like, we became really good friends, again. Like, that's when we just started playing video games together, you know, blah blah blah, all that good stuff. But... Oh man, this is when he started telling me about Diablo, and, and the one of the, again I know I just said one of my good memories is um, playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City and playing and eating popcorn with him, and that is one of the very very first memories that I remember, and that was fun. But the one of the better best memories that I have is playing Diablo 2, and he would be like, "Hey, you want something to eat?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." You know. I, junior high kid. And I was like, oh, well, I, I can eat anything. I won't gain weight. <laughs> I wish that was still the same thing. But, um, <laughs> so, he'd bring, like, he'd bring up some popcorn, you know, like, the same thing. And then he'd bring up these, oh, oh, folks, you don't even, I mean, I'm sure you've had it before, but man, they were amazing. Some, <laughs> some, um, some Pop-Tarts. Cookie dough Pop-Tarts? Cookie dough. Oh. Yeah, I knew that's where you were going. Oh, oh my gosh. I, if you've ever had them, you know what I'm talking about. But especially if you're in junior high, and they're like, Hey, if you don't want to gain weight, 
but they taste amazing. Eat these because you're you're high because your metabolism works. Eat those all you want. Those are amazing. <laughs> all I would I'll do. Never forget the first yeah, go ahead. time I had a cookie dough pop tart. I was immediately like, I gotta tell the world. I'm socially obligated. I gotta tell the world. <laughs> yes, and thank you. So good. It was right behind you telling the world about like Jesus Christ or something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ first, oh. and then the and then the s'more cookies or whatever the cookie dough cookie uh, pop darts. Um, but I just remember, dart. I just remember you just like giving me to him, me like you're gonna like these, and I was like, oh, I've had the I've had the raspberry ones. I know what pop tarts like, taste like. Pop Yeah. And then I took a bite, and dear lord, I was never the same. <laughs> It's kind of funny, the first time I ever had those was actually at, uh, I think it was in middle school. I, uh, because my mom used to work, and well, both my parents worked, so I had to go to, like, a babysitter, for lack of a better word, after school. Yeah. And, uh, she gave me cookie dough Pop-Tarts, and I was like, oh my gosh. And I went home and told <laughs> my mom, you are, you're buying me these from now on. Cookie dough Pop-Tarts. And I'm like, not other Pop-Tarts. Cookie dough pop tarts. <laughs> if they're not cookie dough, I don't want them. If they're not cookie dough, then fuck you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, I didn't say that to my mother because I didn't want to get grounded, but I was thinking it. Did you ever get grounded? I never got grounded. I got grounded once in my life. What the hell? I, first, I just. Uh, <laughs> the first time I looked up porn on the internet. Oh. I was oh. 13, and I wasn't smart enough to cover my tracks. Oh, I'm down. I'm down! But that was the only ever, that was the only time ever, and I was grounded. It was only like, okay, for two days, you can't watch any TV. But I can still I, play video games. So it I, was like, okay. Yeah, whatever. that's that's the same. I remember my, my when... My mom was, my mom oh. and my, like, extended, my grandparents and extended family and all them, they like, they freaked out about it. Like, oh, you gotta have a talk to him. You gotta ground him for a month. And my dad's like, he's a guy. I'll go talk to him. That's so funny. <laughs> a, I was legitimately about the same to say, say the same thing. And my dad, he gave me the whole, like, the talk kind of a thing. And he's like, no, I understand. It's very normal. But don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just summarize because uh, you know what? Uh, I don't want to have that talk with one of our listeners. No. I had it, and they don't want to hear it again. <laughs> I, that was the only time I've ever been grounded. I, I love that you said that your dad didn't. Not, like, it's. <laughs> I've said this to many of my friends, and I, and I'm still, and I legitimately mean this. I think that was the saddest slash proudest day of my father's life when he found porn on the internet that I looked up. Now, <laughs> yeah. I don't know about my dad, but he might have felt the same way. Now, hear me out. He, and this is again. The Seinfeld quote, nothing against gays. I don't, I legitimately am okay with that. I'm, I don't care. You can do whatever the hell you want. It ain't ruining my life, and ain't uplifting my life. You can, I'm not, I don't care. But, my dad, <laughs> I remember the day he found out, he was like, I was like 17. He was like, okay. Hey, that was a lot later than mine. <laughs> well, I, I could cover my tracks. <laughs> he, Okay. He, right. he came up to me, he came up to me, and he was like, uh, Mike, did you look up this so-and-so site? And I was like, it, you know, he obviously knew. I wasn't going to lie. Yeah, yeah, you're smart enough at that point to know. Yeah, at that, at that point, it was clearly, he was like, he knew. It wasn't like, I was like, oh, I can deceive him. No, it was, it was 100%. Yeah, he's going to figure it out. So I was like, yeah. And he was like, he wasn't, he, I could just tell in his face, he wasn't disappointed, but he was just like, he was upset that I was doing it, but he, I think he was more upset that the time came that I was doing that, you know, like the time, like, of like, he knew that I was a child up until then, <laughs> if that makes sense. He was like, he could deal with whatever I had to deal with. Now I'm like a, an adult, and he's like, oh, this is, gonna, this is a whole new can of worms or whatever um 
So, like, I just remember him, him being semi, not, like, semi nice about it. He was like, okay, you're, you're almost 18. You're gonna, you're gonna be wanting to see this. I'm, I don't, I'm not upset. It's just that you need to keep this away from your mom and your sisters because they won't understand. And like, and not like he was like, I, I don't care if I see you watching porn or whatever, you know, it's like, uh, clearly he doesn't, right. he doesn't want to see any of that, but he's like, just keep it to yourself. And it's, it's an adult male thing that men can't help. And I was like, oh my god, that was like the coolest thing my dad has ever said to me. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that was, that's probably similar to what my dad did. But remember, I was uh, 12 or 13 when I had COVID, so it was a little different. Yeah, he was a that's true. More like you shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing this. But at the same time, he wasn't mad. He was like your dad. Like I understand why, you know. Like, and like I said, and, for a guy to want to know. Yeah, and like I'm about, and like I said before, I don't have anything against like like their father or like you being like watching gay porn or whatever I don't care but like it's like I think my dad was like happy that I was watching straight porn <laughs> like <laughs> yeah he was like oh okay oh, I don't have to have that conversation yeah like I, I don't have to worry about that later in life not, just because it's like much harder for the father than I not not harder for the father I, I've never been well, through it so I can't I can't say that it's easier or harder for the person who's going through it for the father but I can only assume it's hard for a straight father to understand what's going through a gay son's mind. Yeah, that's a fair point. But, like I said, I don't give a rat's ass what you do. It ain't ruining my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, man, I can't believe we're going to talk about porn, but hell, we're on it. So, <laughs> Go for um, it. A few years later... My, uh, my mother's side of the family all lives in Italy, and that includes my uncle. So, he was living in Italy, and he visited us one summer, and when, uh, I don't know, when the Italian relatives come visit, they usually stay for like a month, you know, like Holy these crap. are long trips. Yeah. So this was during the summer, uh, maybe I'm like 14, 15, but... I remember one day walking in on my uncle in the um, garage, sorting a bunch of magazines, and he's like, oh, no, don't worry about any of this, this is, this is just for me, not for you. <laughs> and I was like, okay, whatever, and I played it off like I didn't care, but out of the corner of my eye, I'm looking. Now, we had them all in packaging, but I could tell they were all Playboys. <laughs> so, <laughs> I knew, I knew, somewhere in the house, he had stashed this giant box of Playboys. Nowhere. So, a couple weeks, like maybe a week later, he, he ended up leaving. He went back to Italy. And I'm like, I'm making it my personal damn mission. But with the next <laughs> two months, I am going to find this box in this house. So, I swear, I looked through, like, the guest room. My parents' closet. At this time, my parents had separated, so it was just my mom's closet, so I looked through there. Every box in this house, I opened and looked through, and I'm talking like, <laughs> if this shit was, like, taped shut, I cut it open, <laughs> looked through it, and then would seal it back up again. So eventually, I'm like, shit, I can't find it anywhere. So I had um, a really close friend in the neighborhood that I used to hang out with. I'm like, hey, dude, my, my uncle's got a box of Playboys. I can't find them. You want to come help me search the attic? <laughs> because the attic is big and dark. And I'm like, man, this is going to take me forever, you know? So I'm like, I told him, like, this box of Playboys is somewhere in my house. And he was, of course, like, I'm down. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's crazy how it's just like when you see a movie on TV. Even if you own that movie, you still watch it on TV. Oh, yeah. even, though I had access, even though I had access to the internet, granted this was still like DSL, so it's nothing this like was early. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I could have easily found more than those Playboys were ever going to show me, but they're Playboys and they're in the house and I have to know. <laughs> exactly. So he and I go through what felt like 50 boxes in the attic and I finally find them. And I cut it 
it is every Playboy issue from 1986 to 1999. Every single one. And they're all in, like, packaging. Like, these things are in mint condition. I'm like, oh, yeah. So we, of course, spent the next, like, hour looking through these. And then I... And then I, I went through them all and was like, all right, so these are my top ten favorites. I'll put them at the top, and the rest, you know, I just don't worry about it if I ever need them, you know? Yep, that's my Playboy story. I, we, we are probably the last generation. In fact, our generation probably never did it. It's probably the generation before us where it's like, in order to get porn, you had to find those kind of Playboys. Yeah, exactly. By the way, I, we we officially cannot share the GameCast with our family anymore. <laughs> oh dear lord! Uh, the only time I'm ever gonna share this GameCast to my family is um, if I ever if this ever becomes like my full time job. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, well, I have a job, but it's talking about porn and playing video games. No, no, okay, there you go. There you go. It is talking about whatever we feel like talking about. I don't That's want you to say it's talking about porn. That's a one-time topic. I don't want that to be the joke. 